Is they win, they're into the NCAA tournament. They lose, their season is over. A wing three for Tyler Arbuckle gets the scoring started. First touch for Chris Paul, takes the 16-footer, and buries it. And is athletic enough to come up with a finish. Sweet backdoor feed, Felizor to Bailey in all three shooting categories. Felizor with a hard-earned rebound and put back for two. Handle it. Right. Shot clock down to two. Lane with a long jumper. Hits it. Well, there you go. And they know it's win or go home. Right. No at-large bid for them. Sir Yesen to the basket, breaking the streak for New Haven. Excellent shot blocker. Gave Paul a taste there. Paul, the bucket counts and one. Tough to stop him two in a row, though. Arbuckle gets by Jones to the hoop, uses the window. He's got a game high, nine. And the Hawks have scored nine in a row. Well, he's Right. victory last year right. which uh, the closest game was against New Haven as Lane hits the pull up going to overreact and call a timeout here he's just going to let his guys play and there's three for Derek Rollins and forth they go with runs well again New tough player to match up with one on one eighth on the all time New Haven scoring list as Rollins drills the three his Wait. second of the game and all of a sudden it's an 11 point lead over the final three minutes. Arbuckle, nice drive left side of the lane. Down there, gives New Haven a new shot clock. Roland defended by Sir Yesen, but Roland gets the angle right and banks it in, points. Good job by Arbuckle not to force the shot there. Evans with a sweet drive and a nice reverse layup for his first two of the game. It's not their bread and butter. And Ted O'Tailing said earlier, when they make twos, they become a dangerous team. And there's the dangerous Danny Evans with yeah. his first three of the game. Need to be heard from. Arbuckle, long three, yeah. got it. All net for the rookie. Couple of threes here, and all of a sudden we've got a two-point game. Here come the Hawks. Here they come. It's Elms international starting five. The starters for New Haven, all from New York and New Jersey. And there's Evans on a post-up jump hook. So it's one point for tension, not two. And Arbuckle gets a bucket, and courtesy of the yeah. extra possession. Rebound. Hawks with good rotation to contest that they could take the lead here, and they do. As Evans finishes on the break, timeout New Haven. Manage on Lopez. Arbuckle shoots the gap, tosses it up, yeah. and one. Well, he's playing one of his best games so far. All rookie selection. Just played well, as you mentioned. Freshman out of Poughkeepsie, New York. Step back three for Quayshawn Lane is good. Uh, and once Lane. again, Chargers showing their maturity. It's Just immediately attack, get out of the rhythm. Bailey with a nice spin. Tough fadeaway wow. is good. Wow. And over Stonehill. And there's the spin move by all-conference selection, Elijah Bailey. You could play Excellent great defense. Footwork. They're going through the kind of a cold snap that they had for much of the first half. Long three from Roland is good. 18 for Derek Rollins. It's 12 in a row for New Haven. Offensive glass, they're protecting transition. Paul against Lopez. No on the first one. Yes on the second. Paul sees it against Lane. Turn around at the foul line. Wow. It's good. Wow. Off balance. Two and a half to go, and it's a two-point game. Roland gets away from Evans off the glass for a big two with a minute 16 left. Now Sir Yesen into the final minute. To the basket, the Dane gets it off the glass. That's what he can do. He can slash. Going to five. Arbuckle defending lane for three. Nope. Offensive rebound by Bailey. That's the Hawks another, are going to have to foul. It's another long rebound that goes New Haven's way. 83%. He made three at the tail end of one of the overtimes against Stonehill, but he misses that one. Wow. Dixon decides not to go with a timeout. Wow. Paul wants the ball. Gets it in the paint against Knox. Score it with 5.2 to go. Tie game. Beautiful spin move. Now New Haven doesn't use a timeout. Lane across half court to win the title. Nope. And we have overtime. Wow. Paul inside. Thomas gets the defensive assignment here, but somehow... 
Paul banks it in. I'm not sure how he got the angle right, but he did. Very, very tough angle tonight. You look up, he's still got 22 points. Here's Roland, weaves in the lane, spins and scores. Yeah, this, this is a kid here. He's got 22 himself. Yep. Roland who stepped up. Here's Paul again. Wheels around Lopez. And one. This is the Chris Paul show right now. He's, he's got first, whoever he wants on a string down low. Chin regulation. Got to feed him, too. You've yep. got to, he's got to get the basketball. Yeah, he wants it in a big spot. And here in overtime, he's delivered so far around him, and he's lived up to that. Backdoor cut. Thomas inside finishes. Great delivery from Lane. And a good cut by Thomas. He waited for Paul to turn his head. What they needed. Two-point game with, five, with two minutes to go. Tension to the cup. His first field goal of the game. Teams face each other in this gym was the NCAA tournament last year. That was a gem, and so is this as Roland scores again. 25 for him to cut the lead. Isolated right side against Lopez. To the basket for two more. Goodness gracious. He has been fantastic in this heck second half. Of Approaching overtime. a career high right now. Not calling a timeout. Bailey for the lead. Paul to the floor with Lane. Whistles all over the place with 1.6 to go. The arrow favors New Haven, by the way, if this is a tie-up. St. Anselm trying to get the stop and the win. Lane to Bailey. No good. St. Anselm, your 2020 Northeast 10 Conference champions. Well, they're able to outlast New Haven and end the Chargers' Cinderella run in this postseason tournament. They do it on their home floor. Seeing the awarding of the runner-up and champion trophies. Chris Paul, the most outstanding player with 27 points and 11 rebounds. I let the celebrations begin for St. Anselm, their ninth Northeast 10 Conference Championship victory. Terrific game, gutsy performance down the stretch. Yeah, well, you know, we got behind. We played terrible in the first half, got behind, fought our way back, and then they're not going away easy, so they got up 10, and we had to fight back again. So it was a real gut check game for us. I don't think we played particularly well outside of Chris Paul. Uh, I thought we did a great job on Elijah Bailey. Miles did a terrific job. It didn't make things easy for him. And I think we sort of won the game on defense and Chris Paul on offense. So, hey, it never gets old, man. You're going you're gonna to love to win these things. Well, that was my next question. Where does this rank? I mean, you've been here, done this. The NCAAs is obviously the big prize, but there is something to be said to winning a conference tournament. Uh, you know, we've won nine of them. And... You know, I think this is one of the most important things we try to do every year. So I'm a big conference tournament guy. The feeling you get is unlike a regular season championship. So I don't know where it ranks, but if I said this is better than the other ones, my other eight teams would get mad at me. So we just, it just feels good to get another one. I'm glad we got to play in Stoutenburg again. How about your team peaking at the right time, having now won 11 straight? Yeah, this has been unbelievable. The, you know, if you had told me we would have been here in January, I would have said, I don't think so. And this team has just grown immensely. We couldn't have won a game like that where we played bad, got behind, and then fought back twice. Like, I think we showed terrific grit and character. It's another speaks to our toughness and our willingness. We really want to win. Finally, Coach, what's on the agenda now with the NCAA tournament looming? Well, I don't know. You know, we'll try to enjoy this one and... You know, figure out who we get uh, with the selection tomorrow and then get back to work on Monday. You know, it would be nice to put another banner up on that side of the gym. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, Nick. All right, Chris Paul, the tournament MVP. Looked a little scary there for a moment, but you guys stuck together and got it done in the end. How does this feel for you personally? Um, it's just a testament for what we've been doing this last 11 games. Uh, we've been down. We knew that. And uh, we just told ourselves we're going to fight to the end. And that's what we did. Looked like a couple of calls weren't going your way. A little frustration during the game. But but you stay at it. You kept at it. What did, what was it like mentally 
for you there with your team down eight late in that second half. What did you tell yourself to get through that moment? Um, well, I, I knew I was thinking too much about the fouls, and uh, I did, my teammates told me just don't worry about it, play your game, and that's what I did, and we just kept fighting. They, they had my back, and I had theirs, and we just fought to the end, and that's why we were able to run away with it. How does this feel for you, the, the, the team accomplishment, tournament champions? You guys obviously went to the uh, Final Four of the NCAA a year ago, but it's got to be a little special here to be the, the king of the league once again. Definitely. This is something uh, we had our eyes on from the beginning of the season. So uh, we knew this is one stepping stone, and uh, our season's not done, and we're on to the next one after this. Good stuff, Chris. Congratulations.